uh, click has just recently introduced an option to sh conditionally show and hide measures or dimensions in the chart. So um, in this one, I'm going to use the uh, measures here. So I have this object here and uh, you see in the properties now we have show my year f so we can write a condition here to get that done. So before that in order to you know condition that the best thing is you know if I want to control that uh, one thing is using variable. So I have uh, created a button to change a variable and I've already created a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an action here and I'm going to set a value for the variable I call it be my year and i'm gonna say that if you know just toggle between the values so i'm gonna say that if we my year is one then make it two otherwise make it one so just toggling between the values okay so uh, that is one thing and then i have so i have i'm gonna add another value here so in this case is its quantity so i'm gonna add sales amount so this is my amount and now i'm gonna say that show if we my year is equal to one so quantity is going to show that one my year is one and so uh, and then in second case i'm going to say that show this f v my year is equal to 2 okay so this is simple i have this one so i can just you know between the toggling you know i can just switch between the values and in order to make this particular button more intuitive i have a labels here um so they say that if it is one then you know show amount button should be active and you can make more buttons so just switching between the values uh, but there are certain some objects like chart object which does not have that property still uh, i cannot conditionally hide you know uh, change this in here uh, if i go to this layer and actually you know this is in the shape and size so i cannot i do not have this option to conditionally show it or not so in this case i can use uh, still the old formula so here i come here and I say that you know use this pick option so pick option first I tell you which value to pick the number uh, to pick so so pick how it works that uh, I say you know reference or position to use and then after comma this is my first position then second position then third and fourth so I can you know put as many as positions so the position is going to be picked up with vmyr the variable that we created it's showing one two so that's I made them specifically one two so that you know I can choose these measures. Uh, so my first measure is quantity and the second measure is sum of sales. Okay, so yeah, I think we are good. Yeah, it's complete. The expression is okay, and now I can, you know. So now with one button I can control this and I can also control. Uh, this side as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Do subscribe uh, for more videos.